On this week's episode of Teachers Off Duty Podcast, from hitting the gritty to revisiting the Harlem Shake, we're talking about all the TikTok trends that drive teachers crazy. Welcome back to Teachers Off Duty Podcast. This week, we are talking all things TikTok trends, social media trends, because we know you're experiencing it in the classroom. All the time. You might not know what it is. So, all the time. let's get into it. All the we, time. Do we you have, have some, advice. some advice for yes, us? Yes, we do. Okay. Ooh. He's got some advice. Ooh. Mr. Ta- well, I don't have advice. I have someone who needs advice. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Mr. Tawa, I think social media is fantastic. My students get really attached to specific trends. They say, in Incessantly dance or sing to these catchy tunes until it drives me crazy. Mm-hmm. With their latest obsession, the gritty dance. How can I keep my sanity Sick while also it. allowing them to have fun and express themselves? Sign grumpy and gritty. I'm, 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 un- y'all got two left feet. Y'all are the most unathletic kids I've ever seen. Gritty and down. What? What? Huh. I said right foot creep. You can't I don't know what this right is. foot creep. Stop. I don't know what the. I, I, I'm confused because like. I'm gonna be so masculine and sporty right now. The only thing, the only gritty I know is the is gritty the mascot from the no, Flyers man, in Philly. No. What's the gritty? It's it's the stupid. Show us. I, show, show us. With your no feet. way show under us. any circumstances am you I getting did. up and doing you that. Just, no, no, no. Right it gets on my nerves. They're like, I said right foot creep. Oh, and they just like dancing down, down the there. hallway. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No, wait. God, what's, e- what's, no, no. <laughs> what's even worse is like there's also a trend on top of that where they're going like they're like imitating a kid who says like oh I'm widowy gwiddying. Like it's they'll Stop, say it all man. day it's, it's, long. It is mania. Stop, y'all are driving us crazy. Dude, dude. So the other day we're doing we're doing bus duty and we're literally holding the buses for this kid. There's like eight buses that are waiting. And this kid's coming out uh, of the school like, dude, the buses are waiting, like waiting for you. Let's go. And he goes, huh, all right. And he starts grinning oh! all the time the buses. We were like, dude, stop. this is not no. the day Please to do this. stop doing oh the gritty. God, let it, was... it die. But I look back on it, it's like so die. funny. It was stop. so funny. Let no, they, I, think, I, I almost think it's like a, they can't help it. Like, no. dude, they don't, I'm like, stop doing the gritty. I wasn't doing the gritty. Bro, halfway down the hallway to lunch, you've been doing it. You you're you're having a conversation with them and like, they like, don't know what to do with their body. And all of a sudden they'll start doing the gritty. It's like, bro, stop. It's, but it's oh like one God. of those things that you never expect to, like, you're like, I never, things I never thought I'd say teaching. And like, stop grittying, like, please. Down the hallway. Like, who would thought Justin I'd be yelling Justin Jefferson, that? if you're listening to this, man, you ruin middle school <laughs> classrooms, bro. Man, Come is that the dude? On. Is that the dude? One of the dudes. Him it was the LSU whoever, football team. Him and whoever came up with a symbol. You're, you know what? A symbol? I that, was gonna, that's have y'all not seen? That's no. Marvel, no right? fool, it's not. It's a trend on TikTok. It's driving me crazy. I've never seen My that basketball song. players come in every day. Miss Richardson, Miss Richardson. A symbol. And they, it's like they're stretching or something. Like, Stop! I don't know what okay, that is. I don't, I don't, Stop. Some of these trends are so confusing to me because I def my oh, TikTok is like farm pigs and I, showing like, the I, pigs the sky. Right, yeah, like I don't know. Like I never come across education or teacher TikTok. I never come across dance TikTok. So like, unless it trickles down, which has happened, like the floss happened in my classroom two years after it happened. Everything else because it finally trickled down yeah. like kids bop. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> My kids don't know how to use social media, and there's gonna be someone out there. It's like a five year old can a five year old can't spell at all. They are not on yeah. social They're media. Using that voice and, to talk, and, to talk and to unless talk. they trickle down to the YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. kids, yeah. they have no idea. So like, I get these trends two years after you guys are talking about. It. So if in two years yes. I find about the gritty and my kid can't like, clap on beat, but they can do the gritty, I'm, I'm gonna be, be so mad. Can you imagine a pre K kid just grittying on all into the, the classroom? Oh my God. That'd be so funny. If Hayden started, I'm gonna trip you. I'm gonna kick your right foot over the back of your left foot. 
Do no, not right now, the, like, the thing that's driving me up a damn wall is my kids are singing like these two songs, and one of them is the Whopper song. Have you heard oh this? Oh my god, uh-uh. dude, the Whopper song. All, I don't even know the words. The I just know it. that the beginning. It's like Whopper, 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 Whopper Junior, Double, god. Triple, Whopper. Okay, we'll get, out. Out. get like out. That, they <laughs> get out. They sing that. I'm in the middle of a lesson. Get out. Day. I'll oh, be in the god. middle of teaching. It's something completely unrelated to anything to do with food or Makes Burger King or whatever. Crazy, bro. And they're like, well, I'm like, shut up! Dude, Stop when, when doing I, that! When I hear that <laughs> ad on TV, I legit mute my TV. Really? Wait, I get, wait I so it's not, so just a tr- it's not just like a they got trend it like no, it's, it's, oh, it's an ad. It's the most annoying ad on the planet oh, and it's freaking gosh. everywhere and it'll come on and like I'll aggr- I Is aggressively yeah, yeah. yeah I, I aggressively grab I didn't even remote, know it was like, an ad. Boom, mute. I didn't even know Burger King was still open, dude. What? Who eats at Burger King? Don't be disrespectful. Are y'all joking? A BK Bacon King? Um, I'm not a, so I'm y'all not eat a fan at Taco of, Bell too. I, I yes. do. No, Taco yes. John's is goat. What? Yeah. Y'all eat okay. at Taco Bell? My dad said when I was a kid we couldn't eat at Taco Bell because they meat was grated. E for edible. We weren't allowed to eat that. We was poor and we had no food. We were but poor. We wouldn't bro. eat Taco we, we, Bell. We were, we, were, we, were, we, were dollar, we were dollar taco poor. Uh, <laughs> we was on that government cheese. Bro. I'm just going to, again, like, okay, so today. Today on the way here, um, they all decided to discuss what's in our foods, and they were all like some of my favorite you were breakfast about the kids. foods. I'm like, I ain't bringing them with us. <laughs> no, no, in the car. And I said, you you need to stop this conversation because you're ruining some of my favorite. Foods. Toaster strudels are freaking nasty, thing. bro. I, Dude, trash, garbage, stop it. booty waste management. I don't like them. <laughs> Can we switch spots? No, she just, do it again. Say, do, no. do it again. Can we switch spots? <laughs> do it again. Toaster strudels. Try to stand up. Toaster, and, stand up. Are this we gonna, very are moment we gonna fight and try in the to switch spots. Are we gonna fight in the studio? Try to switch spots. Toaster strudels aren't good. They are. They're, they're not. No. Yes, they Pop-tarts are. Pop-tarts are good. I don't see Lego I don't like my Pop-tarts ego. either. Fire. Oh, yeah. Toaster strudels, strudels are good. Oh, a, a, little, a little toaster waffle with some Nutella. Okay. All I'm right, there. listen. In we the comments. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold, up, hold up. In the comments right now, I need to know, do you think toaster strudels are good? Blech. Yes or no? No. Because I need this settled. No. No, they no. are good. Not, not you. I didn't ask I'm not, you. I'm not a baker. I have to sit there and heat it up and put icing on it. No. <laughs> I, I want to know why y'all thought me and Gabe were about to get up and fight for real. Who no. do you think I am? I didn't think so. <laughs> so no. whenever whenever we sit next to each other on the show, Menaces. it's like, it's like I, I feel like my students. Like, well, you know when there's an assembly and, you can't sit and, next and, to each other. and the students just sit next to each other and like you're the teacher in and you trouble. see them like, stop talking, like be serious. That's you too. I now yeah. feel like the kids yeah. and you two are the teachers and yeah. like, Chill if out. The if I'm said, the most mature person here, there's an issue. Okay, <laughs> we can't sit next to each other because if the teacher was like the next person that laughed getting out, don't look at me, bro. Do not look at me because we both getting kicked out. Because <laughs> I'm laughing loud. I'm not snickering. I am guffawing. If you look at me, I'll be giggling the entire time. I'm hollering if you look at me. Oh my gosh. We both kicked out and then running at practice because we got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. To bring it back, <laughs> some of the things that confuse me about the trends, though, is like some of them are very like um, harmless. I swear, I thought people were making this up. The trend of like, was it destroying bathrooms it's or stealing things, things yeah. or whatever? Oh, the devious 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 yeah. Oh so my god! Like, clearly, dude. this is a, a joke. So I'd never heard of it, and I thought it was one of those things where like up. it happened at one school, and of course, people like oh, this is a new trend. I'm like, I've never seen it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing, dude. That trickled destroying. all the way up to South Dakota. Like we, and you know, if it's <laughs> into the South Dakota, nobody to get there. That's how you know that trend is hot. When those cows are flipping through those TikToks, and you know. Cow paw. But Cow seriously, paw. We, 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 paw. we legit had we had staff meetings about it. And, we did like, too. and, and they they were justified because kids would be ripping Tearing off soap stuff. dispensers. Yep. They would take ketchup yep. packets and so spray them all over. They took a toilet. Yeah. Are no. You serious? At my school they took a toilet. Okay, well, you know what? Where is it, bro? Yeah, Where Bob is the it? Builder, how did they figure out how to take out a toilet? <laughs> Actually, the toilet just didn't work and they wanted it fixed. Like, if we destroy it, they have to get a new one, right? No, my school literally threatened them and was like, no, if you do this, we're going to, you know, they won't walk at, yeah, you yeah. won't walk at graduation. You'll, they showed them the prices. Yeah, they yeah. will. They started posting cool. the prices of soap dispensers, it. paper towels, toilets outside of the bathroom. I'm like, these kids so don't read. What did they, what, what <laughs> did they do with them? Did they take them home? I think it was just like what what you could steal from the school. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they did with it. And they posted it on TikTok. I'm sure they went and took it home and then threw it away or something. I want to know. A soap dispenser from the school. I want to know where the toilet went, though. How you smuggle a toilet out of school? That that's the that's one that alarming. had me because that that means that you made it past multiple adults in that building, security cameras, and somehow got it? a porcelain toilet porcelain. out the door, nasty, without anybody noticing. Like, I want to see, see the Oof. artworks. I know they use those porcelain bits for the art when they make in mosaics. <laughs> 
let me see that mosaic. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it smell so bad? I want the proof. <laughs> <laughs> These are the stankiest mosaics I yeah. ever smell. Oh, man. <laughs> I, is I haven't outlandish. seen any, like, I mean, I'm all, also not on that side of TikTok either, but like, mm. I haven't seen any destructive trends currently. They haven't that that went on and then it it stopped. Yeah, I hadn't yeah. Seen, that was the first one I ever saw. Then there was like this fake uh, slap a teacher trend. I wish uh, you would. I've, ne mm. I've, I've never seen it as a trend. I've seen like no, when people post those horrific that. videos, yeah. but like. And that's what I think I thought it was. It's yeah, like nah. this thing that someone like an said was that incident an isolated incident or something yeah. someone made thing. up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it I'm like, that's not thing. really happening. And then my friends who were working at school was like, oh my gosh, like we can where I where I live in in mm -hmm. the Philadelphia area. My friends were like, yeah, the kids are like they have to be monitored in bathrooms. I'm like, why? And they're because they're stealing soap dispensers. I'm like, that's a thing. I'm like, you are stealing yeah, soap during know. COVID, bro? Come on, you need the no, schools. Your hands. Schools literally like put gates across their bathrooms, mm -hmm. and they had like teachers posted up outside the bathrooms. We we yeah we shut down. Gosh. bathrooms during passing we did. periods Stop. and and it was it was we one of those too. things like we had no other choice we didn't have because choice. the bathrooms were unusable Isn't like it, it cost the school so, so much, much it's money. a better option to have them open during passing period and close them during class we could no, here, here's what we it did it was tearing too much stuff yeah up. so, we, so oh my gosh. we would have like scheduled bathroom breaks mm -hmm. like legit and if the teacher had their prep they would go stand uh, like the guy would stand in the bathroom yep. and it, and the kids were like upset about it but we we're like you guys did this to yourself. Yeah. You know, we, didn't, angry we don't decide I would have to do to that. Be, if I had to stand in the bathroom, I was so I'd over be, it, dude. I would be like, I'm done. I was so <laughs> over it. I had so I? many times when, like, they like, uh, like, if there wasn't somebody in the bathroom, I'd get a call from the office and be like, Hey, we're looking at the cameras. A group of boys just went into the bathroom. Can you go check and make sure they're not doing anything? And I was um, tearing stuff up for real. Yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with the, the devious lakes, but like, so a few weeks ago when I was talking about like my school's power going out. So like all the bathrooms obviously had no power. There are no windows mm. in our bathroom, so they're oh, pitch black. Scary. So they had um, a, one of the teachers literally sitting in the middle between the girls Can't. and the boys' restroom, Can't. just monitoring. And then they took, because we have like a media lab downstairs, they took like the LED tube lights and like the <laughs> magnetic lights Ambiance. and stuck them, <laughs> stuck them around the bathroom. And so like the bathrooms were like glowing neon yeah, and the kids were like, mm, all mm, the kids mm, were like, I want to go to the bathroom. I'm like, no, you just want to see the disco party happening right, yeah. in the bathroom. Like, you know I'd be in there during my... <laughs> Just take a, take a selfie Let or me two. take a yeah. selfie. You know the other thing they started doing? They came in the other day, and I was writing something on the board. And when I was like, happy birthday, Miss Richardson. I was like, bro, chill. It's not my birthday, dude. My birthday is in November. Another one came in, happy birthday, Miss Richardson. I, I was like, I ain't even finna tell you they my birthday, because right. I see y'all on something stupid right, right. now. Right, right. So I continue to write. And they all start singing. I turn around and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh, uh, uh. The way the, these test scores look, we ain't got time to be singing happy birthday. <laughs> Y'all can sing that after state testing, but not right, right now. Quit playing with me. Play with your mama. They stopped. <laughs> I'm like, why are y'all doing these things? Do y'all concoct just, ways to uh, irritate it's us? Just, and it's always like, there's certain songs, right? Like, happy Be birthday, crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't celebrate my birthday. I hate my birthday. But like, I know, like, uh, old, old Town Road. Is a yeah. song, right? Yeah. And there's a bunch of trends with crazy. that. I knew that that song had to have gone. I, first of all, I did not hear the real song for months. I really? had only heard kids the kids' bop version. Uh, I didn't know there was a real rendition right. of it. And so the kids incessant. They all they wanted to do is listen to Old Town Road. I well leave done. to go do my to do my prep period when I actually got one. And my as, the assistant is. director of our school came in to cover the prep so I could go. And she was, I was like, if they, you know, everyone, if you clean up and put the, the bins there, we can dance to Old Town Road. Oh, no. And I leave and I come back and she's she's dancing to it with them. And it got explicit. And I was like, and she, I look, I'm like, is this the Kids Bop version? And she looks at the, because we don't let them watch the iPad. We just, we like put yeah. it down. And she goes up to it because we have cubbies that are like five feet tall. And she looks over and she's like. Uh, and I was like, "This is not the kid. It's on Kids Bob." I'm like, "I didn't know there was a real version yeah, of it." Lil Nas and uh, yeah, Billy, Billy Ray, Ray Cyrus. Cyrus. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's on bumping like it I'm on. That's it was. It was. And that's how I knew it was a trend because when it get, when it climbs down that fast yeah. from like yeah, social media people, down yeah. there, and I'm like, Billy Ray is he's What's murdering the game. Yeah, yeah. So for it's state testing this year, like we do, we do like themes at my school for like state state tests mm. celebrating just to get the kids like pumped up for a test um but <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem in and of itself okay but we we made a video we made a video this year to old town road no. 
<laughs> it was not my idea, like but a it's a cute. Said? Yes, yeah. it's a cute like making fun of ourselves, like let the kids have a laugh at us video. I think that's kind of fun. And we're, our fun. our school is like it's a rural district. Mm. We're out in the country, yeah. so like Yeehaw. it's funny. And they like we they had a, like we were like oh we'll dress in like you know more like country attire. I'm like I don't own that because I don't. You guys don't get cowgirl I'm hat. No, I don't own that. No, I, I have don't. I have like a I don't know. I said I, I said it's pulling more hipster than is it the, country. the brim so thing? Yeah, I had a like a brim hat. Oh, no, not a, not a fedora. Oh, like a flat brim fedora. A fedora is cute. What? A okay. Flat Anyway, that's like the I'm big. A, like I'm the, gonna just smooth past like that. Like Pharrell Williams. <laughs> she <laughs> right? hating on us. That's not a fedora. Is she it? hating on that's us. A, that's a flat brim you hear, fedora. You hear this? She that's hating like a, on I, us. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's, that's not a fedora. Yeah. Tell what say you? What you? What do you guys what say about say you? it? You what do you guys say? A fedora? Is this us versus them? No, a fedora goes like that. A fedora is a no for well, me. Well, we but obviously I, don't know what it is. The, okay, the flat, the, the flat, flat brim, brim hat. The flat brim hat, I think, is cute. I don't okay, think a fedora is cute. Okay, that's what I was but my Jason Mraz wears I'm a fedora, fedora. I'm looking it up. I'm then, looking up flat. You guys keep talking. Hold up. Go it's ahead. Not. But anyway, is it, is it the, so that's what I was wearing. And my kids were like, why are you wearing a hat? Because I don't wear hats to school. And I was like, don't worry about it. Stop being so nosy. <laughs> Mind your business. Yeah. I'm like, you'll find out later. And then I, like, we made this video and the our choir teacher, like, she offered to sing the lyrics so mm -hmm. we didn't have to sing in yeah. the video. So she actually, like, did a really good job. But the lyrics are like, it's it's a cute video. I love it. But like, you know, me being on social media, I'm like, it's kind of cringe. Yeah. But I, I love it. But it, it's like, I'm going to take my test, going to do my oh, best. Oh, y'all changed no. the word. Not, well, it's supposed Ew. to be a test. Weird, weird it's a testing it. hype of video. Playing. But like, I'm so, I'm nervous because it we, like, we're going to go watch it on Tuesday at the <laughs> I assembly. I don't want to see myself. I don't want to see myself. Oh, the oh, kids no. are 1,000% about to roast all of Oh, I assembly. know. Is and it happening I, now? That's fine. I don't mind them roasting me. What? This is happening now. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. I go back oh, to school. Oh, I want to know. Oh, my God. Please text me. I'm going to record it and I'll send it to you guys. I can't wait for all the kids be like boo oh, I know. you should say you should say i don't let nobody's tax write off hate on me <laughs> <laughs> I what, think what, what, what trends did you guys have when you were in school do you remember oh baby we didn't have social media yeah i was gonna say we have uh, myspace calm down we was playing rock paper scissors <laughs> shoot we, so <laughs> I'm trying. Did Please, we have, Gabe, tell us of your times in high yes. school. I wonder what what's oh, the first, what's the first trend you can remember. Dude, I remember um uh Harlem Shake. Oh yeah. 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 I was in, I Dude, was that was college. awesome. Harlem that Shake was, was dope. I was that in was college. fun. That you was fun. Manic, I was like a sophomore in high school. The mannequin. Challenge, all that was when I, I was in college. The mannequin challenge. challenge. Yeah. Love that. Or yes. planking. Planking. I was planking. about to say. Yeah. I'm like planking. That might have been high school. Okay, it wasn't high school. It was like right. My senior year or graduate, like I just graduated, mm -hmm. like anything on Vine. I anything love, on yeah, Vine, Vine in 2013 was a trend. Guys, a moment of silence for Vine. I mean, rip, rip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turn, <laughs> <and> Katrina. <laughs> we couldn't get through the moment of silence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> doing too much. No, right now my kids will like they'll come in from any point of the day and they'll just start singing. Tonight will be the night that, that I, I will fall for you. you. They're like that's <laughs> over again. That's the trend. I can't even hate on that sing. one because I that song low key bumping. No, it it's is. But I like when that. the kids, this is like, but when kids sing it, right? That's like, it's but they funny. do it over and over. They do, no, but they do over it exactly over how I just did it, <laughs> yeah. like as nasally high pitched yeah. as they can, and like it's obviously sarcastic, right? And I'm like. Don't ruin that song because that was an emo anthem of my life. Oh, right. Right one of my there. call, call and responses to my class, I'll go, "Where are you?" And then they'll go, "And I'm so sorry." Oh it my is gosh! The best. Understand dude. this: if I walk into your classroom and you do that, I'm roasting you in front of those kids. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling I... them you had on brown socks that was rolled down. Yeah. <laughs> Not G unit who? <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> Nerd unit. My, I had my kids come up with the call and responses that we use, and they they're obsessed with the like with um, Rick rolling again. What's Rick? Uh, what? what? Oh, never, oh, never, never gonna give you up. That was a trend. I I guess. That was, like that the was first a trend when know, I was in. Do you not know that? Was like an email know trend. trend. Never yeah. gonna give you up. Never gonna let you. So you'd go, you'd you go never, to open an email okay. and be like, "Can you open this up because of this?" Or you'd be watching a a, a clip and then it would go to the song. Why do I it'll, okay, this? so it'll be like, okay, picture like a video on TikTok. You scroll up and it's like a person crying and it's like, I had like this really awful video like come up on my screen. It just made me so upset. So I, I brace yourself. I want to show you. And then it'll be like, do, 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 do. And it goes to like, this was like in 2000. Was it a like, sad video? No, it's a, yeah, you're Rick never rolling gonna let someone. You down. Yeah, it's a, like, it's a joke. Like you're playing a prank on someone. 
I have no idea what y'all are talking about. It, it, All right, so everyone needs to go Rick Roll on a teacher. Don't vibes. do that. Uh-uh. Do it. D- d- do delete it. that part. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send me no DM. It's like, it was like, People this Rick was like Roll 10 my years DMs ago. Be mad. Do it. Do it. I just just don't open them. Shame on you. You have a large following. How dare you say that? This is called using your platform. Redact plat- that. No, this reach. is using your platform for good. Redact. Right. Rick Rolling people. Who Rick Rolling people. you on? I'm sorry. <laughs> Redact that email. Tell her. Redact it now. Redact that email. Say, don't do why that. You, I don't. wasn't holding um, you hostage. Why are you saying it like that? Respectfully, no. <laughs> Please don't Rick Roll me. I'm just kidding. Don't Rick Roll on stage like, of mine. Thank you. Like there's like, there's like <laughs> not just like, tre- I mean, it's trendy, I guess, but like, like, Parkour, for example, oh, right? Parkour. Do you remember? Parkour. Like, parkour. I remember my, my, my <laughs> students were like, "I'm like, we want you to be able to balance on like a, a six inch beam, mm-hmm. let alone." And they're trying to like parkour in our classroom. Like, you're three years old. You're like, they, do they that say it too? That skull is soft it. still. Do they say it? Like, that skull no, soft. Parkour. Still. Yeah. They still got holes in the school. They, not like, not like Steve spots. Carell. <laughs> Not see don't parkour. Touch the oh, head. parkour, oh, not parkour. No, they wouldn't say parkour. See, as they mine do. Like I, so I have I a couch. On, I have a couch in my room, and I'll have like the whiteboards are in like the drawers directly behind the couch. So I'll say like, okay, blah blah blah, go get a whiteboard, and they'll walk to the couch, and but instead of going around it, they'll go. Parkour and they'll jump onto the no. couch and grab head, the whiteboard. Head busted. Oh, and I'm like, it is. Why? <laughs> why are you the and way that unless you've you had a stu- like I we had the chair the chairs right and they're going like this and we had carpet down so I was never really worried about it. So like, if you felt that was scary, wasn't it? I was scared <laughs> too, kind of thing. And so we got a new classroom and it had it had cabinets like or. Shel- what's it called when it's built in? A Cubbies? shelf? Cubbies? No, it was like a shelf, I guess. Okay. I think, the, I think a built it's in called shelf? a shelf. <laughs> yeah, a built-in shelf. And what's that had, thing called when I it's a shelf and it's this, built in? And a built-in I, shelf? It's like a built-in shelf. Not an Ikea one, though, but it's like the school shelf, you know? Uh, it's where a it's built- like stuck to the wall. A, 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 belt, low a, a shelf that's built in. Yeah. Well, leave him alone. He said it was and a the, shelf. It's Gosh. like a shelf thingy more bobber. I'm just teasing you. But I went to the corners and we put those plastic rubber thingy so mm-hmm. like they, they wouldn't hit a corner I thought we were good right. and a kid doing this and I was like okay they're so short there's no way their head will, will reach back then I kept saying you better put four on the floor and they went back and they were fine didn't need stitches or anything but if you get so much as a they little didn't bump need stitches or on anything. your head it just bleeds and I was like oh, oh my wow. gosh and I'm freaking out the kids look at me they're fine I'm calling their parents like this is that and they're like they're fine it's a, scra- it's a scrape I just sometimes like, when I hear your preschool stories I'm like how it, do you do it when I, I started teaching the sunscreen okay. thing I'm like oh. no the, <laughs> the cupcake right <laughs> the, the cupcake okay. my gosh and then he said and then he said I deserve that no right. you didn't no one deserves that there's certain trends right and like here's the thing there are people out there who have gluten intolerances yeah. 100%, 100% but then sometimes people get trendy with it right you know what I mean yeah. and so it's like it, it like y- if you don't want to eat gluten, that's different. But there are people out there who like cannot eat it. Right. So poop the pants. So a hundred percent. And so I had a parent, and the student had no allergies. Right. We're gonna call her Barb. Barb had zero allergies, but each week she'd get a different one. And then mom would be like, "Cannot have cheeses because of this in it." Come but on, the mom, mom would pack cheeses, and I'm not saying like she put them in a baggie. It was a bag of cheeses. But and she I was like, told you she couldn't have couldn't cheeses. Have Ma'am, what? So I was very confused. I'm like, I don't think it's correct, but I was stressed <laughs> out. I'm not. If a parent says they have an allergy, they got it. Right. So a family brought in cupcakes for someone's birthday, and it was miss. It, they changed in ingredients. They knew that we had a lot of allergies in our class, mm-hmm. and I remember looking at it, and we had three kids with allergies. We had her with her gluten Whatever, we had yeah. a kid that was allergic to eggs which isn't everything a kid mm-hmm. allergic to milk not lactose allergic to any dairy so i thought okay it's dairy free i remember that so I'm, pa- I'm passing them out and i give a cupcake to the kid who can't have eggs and i go to turn around I'm like oh my gosh so i grab the cupcake he's crying because he wanted to eat the cupcake like Aww. no it has eggs in it and i checked the the container and it said no eggs and i'm like oh okay why did i feel like it was and i was like it's dairy. And oh, I look over uh, and the kid who's uh, allergic to dairy has scarfed that puppy down. Oh, no. And I was like, so I call his parents. Like, what do, what do we do? What do we do? And they're like, "How much? you time got I five got... minutes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. No. So he goes in the bathroom. No. He, obviously, he's, he's like, you know, pooping up a storm. It was the worst day. And, I, and then he convinced me he's good. He was not good. Brother boyfriend was not good. Because then he pooped <laughs> his pants. <laughs> it was not <laughs> I'm like, your good. mom's going to be here in 20 minutes and you pooped your pants? And like, I felt oh, so, man. I was I was How, at fault. I felt so bad. Could you imagine me in dude, preschool? No. You would Mass chaos in there. I can't, I can't. Chaos. I'm a, they crying, me too. Mass dude, everybody would be a kindergarten cop. It, no. no, it is you'd be, 100%. You'd be, kinder, you'd, you'd be. No, I think it'd be worse. What's like, ki- what? Kindergarten cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a movie. Oh, no. 
You've never seen it? I just so, said no. Dude, the whole. <laughs> um, are you sure? Are you sure? Don't say that. Dude, Kindergarten Cop, it's about Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he he's uh, like an undercover cop, and there's like a bunch of stuff going on, and they're like, hey, you gotta go undercover, but you're going undercover as a kindergarten teacher. No. Dude, you gotta watch on the flight tonight. It's, I'll watch it. it I'll is watch it. It's so funny. Wild, but yeah. it's like, I can't do pre- I, I'm scared of them. I couldn't. Yeah. I, I'm no, scared. I had to do, we had to do like preschool practicum for Ooh. like one of my semesters of college. I literally had to be in a preschool. Dropped and out. Start preschool yeah, for out. a whole out. a whole semester, and I hated it. It sounds yeah. like it would give me anxiety. I, like I, you, I thought me, you couldn't eat a cupcake. He's pooping because <laughs> right. I didn't realize he can't. No, he can't eat one. It I, made Jimmy's me reevaluate whether or not I wanted to do like. A, like a PK3 license because I was nope. like maybe I don't like little what kids. What were the other kids doing? No, I just don't like three well, and four year olds. The, <laughs> other kid, well, the other kids were eating but I've had kid, I, have, I had one kid who he wouldn't like we were working with a um, uh, occupational therapist on like uh-huh. he wouldn't chew so mm-hmm. what happens he would like they, his parents would make him like noodles and stuff and he would eat enough noodles that it would make him sick uh, and it was every day the kids would scream and go to the corner of the classroom like guys uh, leave uh, him alone. He can't uh, chew. Uh, he would, he, 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 we were working on how to chew and so because we're an inclusive classroom so we have kids mm-hmm. that Across all spectrums, all, right. all, all oh, different kind good. of abilities, yeah. mm-hmm. and so w- occupational therapists would come in and help out. But like, I started teaching the year Frozen came out, and Oof. let me tell you, a group of twenty kids screeching "Let it go," which is out of their range, baby. <laughs> you not Adina, okay? And they're trying to do the runs, and they're screeching for hours a day. Let it go. I'm. I, I will not do they that. They need to let it go. They're making a third one, and I'm like, if she doesn't get sick and lose her voice. <gasps> Oh, listen, baby. Don't do I'm hard just, like She's it. in a dress in an ice castle with no coat on. It's her time the to get a cold. The cold doesn't bother me anyway. Well, it bothers her <laughs> immune system. <laughs> if I can have a full hour and a half of her like trying to find a doctor to fix her voice and she gets one good song and it's a low one with a whisper. Kind of, uh, I'm thinking of a little like, you know, Jennifer Lopez moment. I don't want to range no. in that, baby. <laughs> no, don't you ever disrespect the queen Into Elsa the like that. Enough. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just, and that, that, you can sing. She's got some pipes. Yeah. Okay, speaking of singing, <laughs> we found out that Lauren can actually sing, sing. because <laughs> sing. we did. Just sing. Car karaoke last night. No, year. car karaoke was, was so fun. That one was fun. We got into the Uber and the Uber driver was like, do y'all want to do karaoke? We thought he was kidding. Well, I'm thinking he was going to like pull up his phone and like. Yeah. So I mean, nah, he had my a man came out with a microphone, handed us a, a, a light up microphone. Like it's gold. Up there was a screen in the car with yes. the words a playing. Yes. sauce. He even took off the, what, 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 what was the thing? Like he oh, out explicit, explicit list. Sounds list. So we could sing Truth Hurts. It was awesome. <laughs> Whoever you are, Uber driver, it was so made fun. my that life. Was, You're a nice person. I feel like it was, that was huge when Carpool Karaoke first came out. Yeah. And then do you remember, like, you could get those microphones everywhere. And I kind of thought it, it awesome. like, died down. I'm like, maybe this isn't like a fun little trendy thing so anymore. Fun. But it was so fun. That was the, oh, the best Uber time. ride of my entire life. I just wanted like, to amazing. drive around. We're, I know. I, was I, like, know, can I we keep going? I was like, looking at the, at the GPS. And I'm like, no, we only have four more minutes. It was so fun. We're actually also, I don't know why we're sitting here acting like Gabe didn't. Um, Completely do the entire Miami rap <laughs> by Will Smith and then blew uh, it out the water. And then, dude, it's my go-to karaoke man, song. I is, like man, I feel like a woman. He did yes. sing, and he yeah, did. He sang and man, in I that moment, like he was. I love it. <laughs> Took it I, to heart. My, he was my, like. My go-to karaoke song has always been Miami by Will Smith. Yeah, and everybody, dude. like, they'll, like, I'll get up there and I'm like, oh, this is going to be bad. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mullet. Miami. Oh, oh and you start with the heat. And turning into heat. Finna be cold. What's everyone's karaoke song? I don't ever do karaoke. What? I'm not. You'd a be a rock star at karaoke, dude. You were last night. My friend, my best friend. <laughs> you were killing it last Did we night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, I just, ne- I, I feel like I'm a social karaoke person. Like I'll do it if. <laughs> I'm as a you know, how people like I'm a social drinker. Like I ain't doing karaoke unless it's with people I like, really want to do. Like you're not gonna choose it. to do it, but if the, the yeah, occasion okay. presents okay. itself. In the car yesterday, if y'all wouldn't have been like, let's do, like I would have been like, all right, now nah, yeah, we good. Like. like, like <laughs> I can sing, but like I'm not gonna be like, yo, guys, let's go do karaoke yeah. tonight. Like, we have to do karaoke. No, like I just I yeah, would never. I've I, I being a musical theater person, I've never done karaoke. I've never sang it. No, and so, I, I'm just waiting for my Hillary Duff not... Frazier voice moment where I stand like, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, like I was. Wow, he does sing. I'm, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like there's like other things I'd rather be doing than karaoke. Like it was right. fun because like, yeah. was like yeah. in the karaoke. car. Yeah, like, yeah it's a good way to pass if, the time. If I'm gonna hang out with my friends, like. Bro, I don't want to sing karaoke. Like, well, we say this, but people, we're going on tour this summer, and we're definitely doing a lip sync battle, which is not karaoke, I guess. Um, 
yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. But yeah. it's fun because it's going to be on stage. It's going to be yeah. us. Crowd going to be in. Like, I don't want to just go to a random bar and do karaoke. I do. It's right. like, who in there? I'm not going to sing my for that. Because <laughs> listen, no, I listen, listen when, when, when black people say who all over there, if you say one wrong name, we ain't coming. Like, so, uh, so if we go do karaoke and I say who coming, and you say somebody, I ain't coming. Like I, Jolene's there. I'm not uh, doing it. Nope. No, dude. I, one of my favorite things in South Dakota is go to like the most towny bars ever and sing karaoke to all all like the locals. It's the best thing. What ever. is their That's, favorite no, song? That was the thing <laughs> that like I was telling you about. My mom and my dad, like when I was younger, they would go to this this local bar called the Pink Elephant. Oh, I remember you telling Whoa. us that. And oh it was gosh. it was a <sighs> super small like dive bar area, and they always had karaoke on the weekends. So like once I turned 21, like I went with them a couple of times and was just sitting there like listening. And my dad would always like throw me under the bus and make me do karaoke because he my dad is a showman. Like yeah. he loves to be like, you know, put show, on a show we. for people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he'll get up there no problem and do mm-hmm. karaoke. And Living then his like, best life. like me, I'm I'm more like like I know I can sing, but I don't mm-hmm. like like I get nervous, mm-hmm. so I would not choose myself to go and to do, do it. That. He would throw me under the bus. No, he wanted like, to get, get, get noticed. He's yeah. like, I need. He's we need like, to have the next Lady Gaga. I don't like, want to do it. Get up, get up there. Yeah, I made Jordan do it once, and Did I Jordan didn't like think. It? Well, because what the funny thing is though is Jordan was in a freaking band. That's true. Okay, He's when, uh, like, have you said that on a podcast before? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Because I'm like, yo, Jordan is like, like, boy, humble. Mm-hmm. Like, you ain't gonna tell nobody. And you was in a good one. He's a professional singer. Yeah, he was. Yeah, they were in this. They were a signed group, and like. He was like, they were, it was, it's called post hardcore, but they were like, he oh. was the, he was the screamer in the band. Fire. So don't say about Jordan, hey, your, your hubs is like mad talented though, like yeah. legit. I mean, I'm a little biased, but okay, yeah. but be biased. Like, uh, yeah, yes. uh, two his one, two, two. <laughs> he's, uh, he's talented, but, man. But I made him do it, and he's he's very much the opposite. He's mm-hmm. like, don't look at me. Don't give me yeah. any any attention. I don't want you to know I exist. <laughs> the the room mean girls, don't so look I at me. Threw, yeah, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> but he, he got up, and like I, I was like, fine, if I have to do karaoke, then so do you. And he's like, no, don't make me do it. So I'm like, Just I'll like go get you the binder of the of the songs it's they always have like, it's always a binder yeah. it's like 20 why pages are you, why are you guys the opening of high school musical to me have you done this before <laughs> no i haven't either <laughs> Like oh in my, my head, went right there. Don't hey, lie. You're in high school musical. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you put out some high school musical, this could be the star. But <laughs> spe- speaking that? of uh, um, having talent versus no talent, what makes me feel like I have no talent ever <laughs> is when like there'll be like a dance trend on TikTok, and my like my we students. We tried doing one, didn't we? I just can't do it. No. I just can't yeah, do it. Yeah, we tried. But my, my students will be like, like, Mr. Derby, let's, let's do this dance trend. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll learn. And then we'll get like three moves into it. And like, now nah, we're cutting you off. No. Like, no. I, believe it or not, I don't have a lot of dance swag. I know you would think that I do. That's, but here's a, but you're, you're, but you're a trained dancer, though. I actually am. Like, like, yeah. You're what? Yeah, my mom was, is a professional ballerina. What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just no, learning she, a lot today. Yeah, she okay, was, bougie. Yeah, so I can do. I can do. Because your mom is from. You she's do, from Warsaw, Poland. 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 You can right? shout out Poland. Poland. You do ballroom, yeah. right? Yeah, I can. I can ballroom. I can salsa. I can do ballet. Yeah. So my dad was. I can do my dad was a ballroom dance teacher. Yeah. Really? Yes. So, yeah. No, but when it comes to like, y'all like little freestyle, like, I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Little freestyle. Usually, people who are it. trained no, see, I'm can't. The same. I no. can do. I can do the same thing. Like what I can waltz. I can do ballroom. People who are trained dancers. I cannot do. Like I can. If I learn a TikTok dance, it's gonna take me a hot minute. Like it's gonna take me an hour or two. They were trying practice. to teach me something the other day because be, it was like I had to go my right. This foot had to go in front and then my hand had to go in the back. But my, my leg had to go. out. I, I was like, man, what? Like, do see, for me, I'm just, just hit no. it. And I was like, no. <laughs> for me, I blame I blame no. cheerleading because I was a cheerleader and like all cheerleading. I, all cheerleading motions are meant to be very like stiff and structured. Yeah. So like my body does yep, not no. let me. I don't have like, any like, flow. Move like, like there's that. no. It doesn't move like that. Yeah. So like I can't when I try anything. to do a dance on TikTok, I really have to try. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can't blame anything, but I just don't have enough swag to pull it off. That's my. Same. I just I just can't <laughs> do it. I, I was nah. I was dancing for. Tw- 20, I'm 31, 20, 21 years, I think. I, I was a dancer and I cannot do a dance trend to save Here. my life. But you can probably hit grease lightning really See, hard. Grease like you, you, want me to go, you want me to you want me to do some pure what's baby? I got you. I did ballet, I did I did the grand balls, I did salsa, Killing I did it. tango, I did 
Killing tap dancing. It. I cannot. Yeah, I did tap too. I forgot about that. Are we I did have a tap, tap for one for one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, one year you I did tap. What? I did tap. Me and my twin yeah. did it for like five well, minutes. I, my, mom, <laughs> my mom started me in dance, and I hated it. So like, oh, she, like well, it. I was in tap for a year or two, and I just didn't like dance, so I did it's gymnastics. What is the current thing that like? Not that they're trendy because people do them like. For, for real, but I feel like there's always like a a moment that every kid is signing up for something at that time, right? So like uh. we had like at our school for a while it was karate, and then it was like not trendy anymore, right? Like there was like a moment of it, and people still continue, but it was like Such new people came in. Stop. Like, did you guys ever have anything like that? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Ours I think like, the trend is not to sign up for activities oh, right now. Ours was um, really? like, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, ours yeah. was like the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts groups. Oh yeah, because people Boys, always will do it, but they like get they get like this burst of popularity, and everyone signs and up for stop. it, and then and then it's the new yeah. people stop going, and just yeah. the regular people continue. What was the on. farmer yeah. thing or the, the the what? What was the Future Farmers of America? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People, that, that, that was a like class. Kids were, oh, was that a class? We they had it not at our school because we weren't technically a farming school, even though we had farmers. Yeah. 4-H, that got really age. trendy for a hot second. Nah, okay, so I have mixed opinions on 4-H. Like, <gasps> I think, no, no, I think it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> the sharp intake. <gasps> but like for me, I don't understand. And I know like, like I didn't grow up on like a, like a farm. I didn't mm. grow up in the country. So like mm. for me, it would be so hard for me to raise an animal from birth and then know I'm going to sell it. Oh, is that what they do it for? Maybe. Yeah. Yes. I get over that up. Maybe I could I get over it right away. Well, they away. sell it I'm to. Like, I'm like, I'm going to tell you something Heartless. real quick. No, no, no. I know <laughs> what happens. I'm so not going to say that part. That's I know what happens. It. No, someone I know adopts what the cow, happens. right? No. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Baby, don't. <laughs> don't you make hamburger gestures. Stop. See, no, I just, I like, no. I'm the opposite. I'm like, I can't wait for that cow to grow up. No, like, they'll I be like, this is my like, cow Posey. Like, Someday she's going to be a burger. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, like, listen, <laughs> like, there's no. sports you can do that's not that. Like, I didn't know. Like, the bunnies. Horses. No, baby. There's like out of animals. Oh. We have, I think it's like the second or third large. If you guys, Elkhart County 4-H Fair is like a second or third largest in the, in the U.S. It's Big massive. Flex. Guys, Big if that's flex. the biggest thing that you have going on in your town. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is massive, right? And so they have art, they have photos, and then they have fake food. You make a fake food plate, and then you get a 4-H score on that. Oh. And I want to know the politics behind it. I need <laughs> a five-part docu-series on the politics behind that. Like, Shelby, every year, because her mom's on board, wins the cornbread fake Rude. contest. I know it happens. Rude. Listen, okay, so, okay, so for us, we're similar, because Ohio. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have the, I think it's either the largest or the second largest county fair in the state. In my He's, my town, nothing else doing going on in there. Yeah, so they it's Dang. it's massive. It's like a whole week long thing, and like like that's why like how I was saying in the other um, episodes at my brother's school is like they start like after Labor Day and my school does not. It's mm -hmm. because his school, they have a lot of kids that do 4-H yeah. and all the kids are gonna skip school anyway because their families all like, you get they money. go to the fair and they they actually raise their animals and they sell them at the fair. So like they will actually have like, oops Mike, they will actually have like auctions at the fair yeah. and they'll auction off like their pigs, their cows, their whatever animals Horses. they're raising. You can make thousands, thousands oh, yeah. of dollars yeah. doing oh, this. Oh yeah. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm selling my pig for yep. $200 this a guy, pound. Yeah. It's a big day. When it's I, crazy. When I was in school, because you could, because you didn't have to just do animals, mm -hmm. and I, I I know for a fact it isn't like this now, that, like my junior, senior year, mm -hmm. no one could give two poops about 4-H. Mm -hmm. It got so freaking trendy. There are people in there that's like took up photography, but it was on their like razor flip phone. You know what I mean? Because they were like, oh. because you also got an incentive of you got like free tickets and preferred parking if you did 4-H. Oh. Oh. But you also got money. Like they did the 4-H Fair Queen. Like real Ooh. money? They, yeah, they still do that. Yeah, and, she, and, she, and sister girlfriend gets money for it. I'm, I'm, yeah, and you don't have to do a talent for it. I am oh, the king. Have a talent. Not for that one. And her her crown is made out of corn cobs. It is. <laughs> well, maybe it is Indiana. Okay, so it's speak, soy speak every other the week. The corn palace. Speak, <laughs> the corn palace. You say the corn palace? Is that a place? Oh my God! Is it a place? <laughs> 
<laughs> See, South Dakota has the world's only corn palace. Oh my god! Look it up, dude. What it is, is a corn dude, palace. Dude, so it is the most underwhelming thing you've ever in the possibly seen. Well, you seem very excited for it being dude, so underwhelming. Dude, because I love one of my favorite pastimes is making fun of the corn palace. Like in South Dakota, it's such a big wow. deal. When you're driving all through South Dakota, you see signs everywhere that says "World's Only Corn Palace," 200 miles away in Mitchell, South Dakota. All that it is is a giant gym. Literally, that's all. Like, I put high school basketball. We mean a gym. It's a gym. It's a gym. It's out a palace. Corn? On the outside, there's a bunch of murals made out of corn and whatnot. I'm Aww. so angry right but now. I would be a, disappointed. Why is, did I think it was a building just full of corn? That, I thought it was Why like a little. Why did I think it was a building made of corn? Yeah, I did too. You think there'd be like a king and a queen sitting in the palace? No, dude. It's a giant gym where they okay, play basketball. Okay, I didn't think that, that, that there would be very... people sitting in the palace, but I thought maybe like I they did. would have a building made of corn. You know what? I did. I thought that Mr. and Mrs. Corn was in there. It's the royal family of South Dakota. They live in Queen Corn. Yes. Queen in the castle. Queen. Listen, okay, so, so Lauren, when she came to visit me last September, we were we were having this discussion how my brother and I, like, we have corn wars. Because so, I grew up in the Midwest. Okay, anyway, so I would put, we would put, like, corn stalks on our pillars of our porch for fall decorations. Just, oh. yeah, to look cute. And the corn that's on the, the stalks, it's always, like, the like the feed corn so it's mm -hmm. like hard as a rock so by the end of the season we would take it off and like i would just dump a bucket of corn on his front porch and Eddie. then he would take the corn cobs when whenever one of us is not in town we know that something bad's gonna happen when i come home so like jordan's home right now so i'm safe but if both of us were gone i know there's gonna be corn in my house so like he would take these corn <laughs> cobs oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not even kidding you he would take these corn cobs and hide them in my house so I have to find corn cobs around my house. And then when my brother and his wife went on their honeymoon, <laughs> I did the same thing. It's on my YouTube channel. What if he I, doesn't I took... find it? He just got a piece of rotten corn in his no, house? It's, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It smells like rotten corn in here. <laughs> it's already like hard as It doesn't rot. Oh, oh. Yeah. And then so I got, <laughs> I put corn cobs all around their house. And then I <laughs> took... <laughs> Their friends had gotten them like big, like fat heads, like, you know, this giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we put them like on their bed. And then put a heart in corn. Oh, <laughs> my I cannot explain God. to you the level I would be mad if I just found random corn around oh my house. Oh my! But it's like a, <laughs> I would be upset. So it's funny. just like an inside joke now. So like, yeah. there's just like corn. What kind of savage beast comes in? Corn. I know. I know. But it's like okay. that's yeah, the corn wars. It's that's just, actually funny that y'all have like that sibling thing. Like it you, is. It you're is. sitting on the plane. Dang, I wonder how much so corn found, my brother put in my house. I actually found these yard signs <laughs> on Amazon that are little corn cobs, and they have little like fun faces on them and stuff. So when he and his wife went camping the last weekend we put them all in their backyard and the other neighbor like I videotaped his reaction finding them because his dog went out and barked at them and then the other neighbor comes up and she's like we've been trying to figure out what those were that for like so two funny. days you That's scared awesome. your neighbors yeah, yeah. Like, they got weird stuff growing in their backyard. Yeah. <laughs> like, our neighbors are so weird. Yeah. <laughs> they got stuff popping up out there. Speaking of scaring neighbors, brings me to this week's episode of Good or Garbage. <laughs> that ain't got nothing, nothing to do. Nothing to do with neighbors. Yeah, the why? transition just was wait, garbage. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> just wait. It's got everything to do with scaring neighbors. All right. I want you to set the scene. You're in the classroom. You, okay. want, you want them to set the scene? All of y'all. Whoever. Okay. You, me. Okay. I'm listening. I'm, I'm there. All right. <laughs> You're the teacher. You're mm -hmm. you're you're giving a lesson. Just kill their lesson. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, a kid gets up, and all you hear is, grr, 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 grr. yeah, that's the that face. better be the throwback pencil sharpener. Cause... It is. On this week's episode, of good or garbage, we're talking about old school crank pencil sharpeners. Nothing is more like aggressive. <laughs> loud, just gnarly, something that you just don't want your finger to get caught in Ooh. than an old school pencil. I, when I was a kid, Ouch. one of my irrational fears was I getting know. my finger put in there. Same. I'm sure in the pre-K world, kids are shoving crayons in there. They don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have them we, anymore. We get, we Safety get, hazard. We get that. When I entered my classroom, there is a bunch of really weird stipulations you have to have and, and like, Look, you have to have AC, and if the power goes out, the kids have to go home. Yes, here's a word. You cannot have a pencil sharpener. They they took it off the wall. Really? And it was mounted, so like they had to it like was bolt mounted. it out. I, I, I always remember like the casing that went around it. Yeah. Kids would always steal it by the end of the year, mm -hmm. so they'd always just so you had to just like, 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 oh, wow, yeah. yeah. You could see the the thing. Well, I would tell like if that happens, I'm like, don't touch it. Like, don't. You know, they don't touch it. I don't need you guys slicing your fingers. Yeah, they stick forks and sockets, bro. They gonna touch the paint chips. Hey, don't touch oh my god! I feel like that was like the place you flexed your outfit though. It was. Oh, every time. Hard flex. Oh my gosh. Got some new shoes. That was. 
You taking too long at the pencil sharpener. Oh, oh, my, my, my pencil there just broke. I got to do it again. <laughs> nothing made, I was going to say, <laughs> nothing made me feel like Rachel Lee Cook and, okay. and she's all that. Then when I had a new outfit, I was like, she's all that. <laughs> my pencil sharp. I'm like, Every, everyone's looking at me right now. <laughs> don't See, look I at was me. the opposite. I'm like, don't look at me. Oh, like, <laughs> like, right. Oh, no. You got the kids. They're yeah. like, I'm not going to sharpen no, my pencil. I would, be, yeah, I would be the anxiety kid that's like, I just got to sharpen this pencil real fast and sit down so no one sees me. <laughs> like, I don't And then wanna... if the pencil sharp, like sometimes the blades would get dull or whatever oh, so yeah. then like you're you're trying and it's like breaking yeah. the pencil like a I'm meat like, grinder just a it, meat it is grinder. i'm like we're sweeney toddy in this right now it's just <laughs> nothing's happening so i say that old school crank pencil sharpeners are garbage 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 if they're Trash, new waste management got if they're new old one, you know what I mean? Like if it's a, if it's that style. A man, it's a style. Manual pencil yeah. If it's a manual pencil sharper, but new. But old or new. Chef Chef kiss. Kiss. I think it's better than an electric Fantastic. one. Fantastic. Because the electric ones just keep going. Yeah. They'll break true. it out every time. If it's an old one, I can't have that. What, tell me why though. Why do kids feel the need? Like what intrusive thought are you letting out that you go and put the the eraser end and the metal end you into my electric try, uh, menaces? Why would you do that? that? You know that thing is fifty dollars. I did it when I was a kid. No. Exactly. It's same cool. It's same no. cool. But I was like, but that's what I'm saying. If the eraser will sharpen, no. it's like, bro, the eraser is not long enough I to was, sharpen. I was convinced if I did that, I would get electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> Because there's metal on metal and it's electric. I was convinced. Why well, that makes sense in my mind, no. though? <laughs> Don't do it. You're going to get electrocuted. Like, I was, and I was, I, I told this before, metal. I was a tattletale. So if I saw kids do it, they knew. Like, when Sarah Barker was eating her little eraser, I'm like, she's going to get wet poisoning. Like, I was so scared. Maybe this is oh, old poisoning. She'd get wet poisoning. You tell on her. I did. Was that your nickname? Tattletale? tattletale. I, was, I was Tell the Tattletale or Telly Tubby because I was a little chunky. Telly Tubby! But they'd be like, okay, Tell the Tattletale. But guy, that's not nice because I couldn't. I had See, but that's not even clever. Like, tattle, Tell the Tattletale isn't clever, but just Tattletale would yeah, have tattletale been. Tattletale would, but they didn't know things more like clever. that. Tell yeah. the Tattletale is so clever. No, Tattletale? Tattletale tell would be like. Tell is the word. If I was a gossip columnist, can you imagine? If I was a gossip columnist, I want you to do that. If anonymous, I, do it. Well, I can't, can't, well now it's not anonymous because. See you on TMZ. Send him. Send who, his, who's Tattletale? Send it's in the name. <laughs> I know, guys. You <laughs> know, but name. maybe in my next life I'll be Tattletale. I really tell. want you to have a gossip column. I, now I'm awesome. nosy. I feel like people would tell you all the Dude, oh, he's got to face that. They already tell me the tea. You know what I mean? I'm just like, I want to tell you things. Wait, what's wrong? What's happening? Well, and then they'll be like, spill. They spill the tea, and you're like, well, no, you are also. See, but a I know that that's. I that's know true. that's I'm a you. But like, I would never. I would never spill their tea. I know that's your. Like, I know that's you, and that's your personality, though. Like, you're a really good listener and advice yeah. giver. So, like, anytime I feel like I need to vent about something, and I like, I feel Straight myself to about tell. to vent to you. No, I go like. Is it okay if I tell you something right now? Because that can get exhausting. You're sometimes. so yeah. nice. I'm like, I tell you, I tell you. Uh. <laughs> it's it's it, it's funny though because it's like like as much as I'm like oh, I'm gonna do this. It, I you have it, I would have to listen to Barney's "I Love You" for a week straight, 24 hours a day, sleep deprived, in order to tell you some of the things. Like when a client, I would never disclose what a right, client right, did in right, therapy. Right, right. But then it is so hard when someone, like when, not in therapy, like when a friend or like my husband tells me, okay, it, in a week, people are going to know about this, but like, I won this award or like, I'm always like, oh, I want to tell anyone right now. Like, I know. <laughs> Just know if you tell me something, me and my twin are the same person, so she going to know. Yeah, right, if you're like, right. don't tell anybody, she technically doesn't count right. as anybody. Remember that trend on, on TikTok that I was like, I won't tell anybody and except they, my husband. Right. right. Like, <laughs> it's just understood. Yeah. Like, understand if... I'm married and you say, don't tell anybody. That Hus does not is obviously yeah. going to know. And mm -hmm. for twins, I don't know about other siblings, but oh, twins, yeah. I'm going to tell her. She's going to know as soon as I get off the phone with you, I'm calling I'm her. Right. I always tell people, like, if so, if a friend calls and they're like, I have to tell you something, I'm like, I'm going to tell Jason. And they're like, that's fine. Like, like I was like, <laughs> off the cuff. If you're going to tell me something that juicy, like, I'm always like, you know, juicy. I'm not petty, but I need to, I, I need to tell someone. I'm yeah. going to, like, if you're telling me something like that, like, I'm like, Okay, go on. Jason's right here. <laughs> put it on it's speaker. On speaker. Put it on speaker. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do you remember the trend of people like volume off mute and you they would tell a secret or they tell like who their crush is or whatever on TikTok and like you had to guess what the secret was? What? What? Oh, what? I didn't that, see that. One. I don't understand. They like it's so a video. So you just watch their lips moving. And they'd be telling their friends something. And they're like, and you just see their lip. There's like music or whatever, oh. and the person reacts. And I don't know why I would watch the video because I cannot read lips. But I I'd can't be like, either. What did they say? Like they were gonna magically so you tell gotta me. You got to go to the comments and look to see what they people I know. think they said. There's always the re like lip readers Run that like, that's their TikTok like, account. No. Lip see, listen, yeah. <laughs> that would be my torment because my mom makes fun of me so bad because like she'll be like across the room from me and she'll be like, 
And I'm like, I have no You're idea what you're saying. I'm like, I cannot read your lips. I can't do it. I just can't. And if I, we're in a it bad doesn't matter how many times I try. Like, what? I'm yeah. like, I can't Speak read your lips. Speak up. <laughs> Dude, <please. laughs> Somebody's in the house. What? Look, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is so, <laughs> this is so off topic and so mean. What kind of on topic? This is so mean. In high school. We had this teacher who he was so unbelievably old, and he like he couldn't Aww. hear. It. He, was, he was super awesome, great teacher. Is my woodshop teacher? Because I was like, you better follow that old with something nice. No, <laughs> he, he was my woodshop teacher, and it was really funny because like not funny. Well, kind of because he owned it. Uh, he like like chopped kept chopping off his fingers and all the saws and whatnot. Oh, he God. couldn't even close Hold his on. hand. How? No, it was. It was cool though, because he was like, I can't even make a fist. Like it was. Wh why would they keep on MT? What? Because you make money off of that. Yeah. Actually. So Good no, no. no so here, here's the whole point of the story. Good so, for him. No. so he he got like he was getting older, and um, he was like, Hey guys, I can't hear anything. You had to speak up real loud. Yeah. So we would have friends that would start talking, and then they keep like bringing their voice down while they're talking, <laughs> and just be moving their lips. You'd be like, What? It was so it, mean. This is why I could not teach high school boys. Oh, we yeah. were trying to, listen, when we were kids, we used to troll our teachers. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Because uh -huh. I feel like when I was a kid, I didn't see my teachers as like real people because we thought uh, they I lived didn't. at school. Yeah. I, 100%. So it was like, you don't? Stop I sleep playing. under my yeah, You play too much. <laughs> nope. Got that fold out mattress. Under your yeah. desk. That was a dad I, joke, I, I, like, Legs <laughs> sticking out because you're too tall. That was a that was a overused joke. Which one? What did I say? I sleep under my desk. I thought it was good, bro. Thank you. Because yeah. <laughs> I sleep on top of my desk. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not sleeping on the floor like an animal. <laughs> I now look back and think to myself like, we, I had a geometry teacher and he went mm -hmm. on a date and we all saw him with the girl and we're like, oh, and so gossip. incessantly work. So how's your girlfriend? Pop he gets so gossip. mad. Oh my Me and my friend Hannah would do it and now we're both teachers. I'm like, why did we do that? Like, as yeah. <laughs> looking back know. now, yeah. I'm yeah. like, when kids even like the slightest little thing or they like, talk about like, mm, your hair's a different color, mister. The other day, they're like, you look funny. Why do you look so weird? You look weird today. Why I couldn't figure out what that? it was. And I was like, oh. Mean? And I went and think I looked really good that day. I was like, I okay. actually like, and so I started feeling bad. And I'm and I, I'm walking up to my car and I'm like, I'm feeling so bad. I'm like, I'm feeling so bad, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh. I get to my car. I had not worn my glasses all day. They were oh. talking because I, I've always, I mean, I'm not wearing glasses now. I'm always in glasses though. So they just were so they just thought you looked They different. just thought it was different because I didn't have glasses on. Oh, and and they, I was, they couldn't describe it. And they couldn't so describe it. They couldn't the figure out what, weird. they could put their, their, their finger on it. And I get into my car, I'm like, I'm dizzy. I'm so upset about it. And I'm like, how did you, I don't wear contacts. I can bear, I can see y'all faces a little bit, but I can't see, <laughs> I don't know. All day, all day. You're dizzy because you, you had your glasses on. No, and I was like, maybe I do look weird. Wow, maybe I need jerk. more Botox, more filler. See, kids do that though to me too. Like on on St. Patrick's Day, I I always do like green eyeshadow just for funsies. Mm -hmm. And so like my student teacher did too, but she is like gorgeous, like natural, like mm -hmm. beauty, like does not need makeup whatsoever. And she did her eyeshadow that day, and mm -hmm. all the kids were like. You look tired, and because her, she did like dark eyeshadow to her for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, and and oh. she was like, "I'm taking it off." I'm like, "Don't listen don't to you that." Dare, don't you take you it off? I'm like, dare. "Don't listen to the ten year olds." They I'm don't like, know. They don't know what they're talking about. Golf pants. They right. think are scrub. Yeah. I'm sorry. These you're kids scrub, have like kid. dried snot on the upper lip of their nose because they can't wipe way. it, and Thank you're gonna you. and you're they're gonna insult you, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe wipe the dirt off of your face because you were eating mud outside before you tell me that. You gotta read them. I will. The library's open. Okay. Oh. I would yeah, never. <laughs> I, no, I told her, I'm like, you're going to get that a lot. I'm like, oh, if you roses. change anything about your appearance, you're automatically going to get roasted oh, by your that kids. That is why we're doing the cute little hair Every trays with the tinsel, the tinsel hair. on the hair. The, the amount of teachers I've seen do that. It's cute. Mm. The kids will read you. If you oh, know dude. that when you do something 100%. trendy and it's cute, I get that. You know, like 100%. when you do it, though. They're, they're 100. Dude, when 100%. I grew my facial hair out, dude, they made fun of me every day. Well, baby, we did, too. That's true. <laughs> that is true. But yeah. I had kids coming up up to me like, "Hey, did you lose a bet?" I'm like, why? Like, bro, they be they sad. They are. They're they so are. mean, dude. These One of my thirteen kids, years olds are so they're mean. They're going on mean, purpose. I, I bought some shoes one, and I thought they were good looking shoes. Mm -hmm. Somebody raised a hand. I'm thinking about to answer a question. Miss Richardson, Jacoby said you got all that TikTok money, but your shoes still <laughs> ugly. <laughs> So when funny. I wore Velcro shoes and I work, I know, don't judge me, but they were kind of trendy out for a second. Uh, and I wore them and the kids like, are those Velcro? You're wearing Velcro shoes, your Spider-Man Velcro <laughs> shoes. 
Are those Velcro shoes? Yes, Black they are. Kettle. They okay. are. And they light up when I walk. Yeah. And they light up when Judge I walk. me. I walk away with my Heelys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be going out of this room. I'm going to judge you for wearing Velcro shoes and yet you can't tie your shoelaces. I'm like, you have, you, you have the spiral ones that go back down. I'm like... <laughs> Or just the little plastic ones that yeah. are just automatically yeah. laced Clean up. Yeah, your own home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some other things that our students do that we just don't get to wrap up this episode. And to go, kind of going along with the trends. So this person sent in and said, like, I don't know why our students, like, will talk in their own languages. And some of them I understand, but some I don't. So they said, like, they gave examples of words that those, their students use, like, slay. We all know what slay oh, I know slay. Bussin. I know, but that means good. Yeah. Okay. Sheesh. Sheesh. All day, every day. What is what does that mean? <laughs> it's just a sheesh. It's just a, a sound. A sound. Okay. <laughs> okay, but tell me why, like as soon as they hit sixth, seventh, eighth grade, they mm-hmm. all have to make like inappropriate oh, noises. Drives me insane. Down the hallway. Oh, why are you moaning? They'd walking down the stop. Okay, I didn't want to say it myself, but yes. Uh, why did they do that? Me, a kid did that during when I was my kids were taking a test. And I'm, I, I try to be oh the adult God. sometimes. And my kids did good when he was moaning, but I started laughing. No, it was over. I'm I like, tried to hold it in, but I'm like, the audacity of you okay. to moan. They walked past but moan hold on. and then came back and uh-huh. did it again. I, I couldn't. But the games that we played, when we were penis. Like <laughs> oh time. my God. So how, how, gonna, how are we going to sit there like, this, this is why everyone's like, it's, it's so hard to teach we preschool. My preschools do don't. My preschoolers are well behaved compared. I'll deal with a child throwing up on me we or pooping their pants that. over y'all's kid being... <laughs> Ew, Why we sucked. I forgot that we, we did that. Sucked. We don't ever speak in the middle about of the movie theater oh. in middle school. Oh, the I'm like, last, oh. the last I'm trying to watch Finding Dory. You, you guys know, know the, the last clap game when you'd be the last one to clap. We thought it was hilarious. No. Never oh, did yeah, that. that. People think it's hilarious. And it's like, no, Stop. it's dumb. Stop. All I actually the like time. the last Worst. game because I, I would get so anxious. You know? Every No, every year there's going to be some kind of new trend or new game yeah. or whatever. So You want to send us off? Uh, sure. So this was a very weird episode. Because <laughs> <laughs> what did we even talk about? Trends. <laughs> you know what? But it, but it all kind of coincides because the, all the weird trends that happen online all end up trickling down into something weird happening in our room. Sure does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys check out our website, Teachers Off Duty Podcast. And also grab your tickets Woo-woo. for the live shows. Yeah. It's if you be didn't lit. know, we are going on tour and we have three shows coming up in June. Yep. June 23rd, 24th, and 25th. We have Philadelphia, Boston, and DC. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> but it's DC, Philadelphia, Boston. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. You know, Who you'll knows. find yours. But Free come, come hang out with us. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody bring me Hickama to that show. We'll have a Hickama cannon. We'll just shoot it into the crowds. Pew! <laughs> but we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for sticking around with us. It means a lot to me. And for one view a day, you can support our podcast. <laughs> But you can also subscribe to us and hit the little ringy button so it notifies you every time we have an episode out. Go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast, and give us a five-star rating. And um, I lost my beach ball, and it might be in one of these two videos. Just click on one, please.